All right, Shalom. I want to give all the praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Kwidash. I want to give double honors to the men who taught me this truth, the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Also, peace and blessings to my fellow yokesmen, the hopeful elect that continue in the work of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Also, to the believers, the brothers and sisters that continue to believe upon the names Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shai, in all fear, Shalom. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. This lesson is entitled, To Be Made Alive in the Valley of Death. America is that valley of death, and we, being the hopeful elect, have been made alive due to that quickening spirit. Two-thirds of our people are spiritually dehydrated, but we have been spiritually hydrated by the living waters. Now the book of Job 10 and 21, Before I go, whence I shall not return, even to the land of darkness and the shadow of death. The land of darkness is America, and the shadow of death lurks in the land of darkness. Every corner that you turn, death lurks. But we being the hopeful elect, the angels encamp round about us to protect us and guide our way. Two-thirds of our people, they are in total darkness. And when you don't have light to guide your way, you're bound to what? Trip over something and fall. And that's what two-thirds are going to do by them being conformed to Esau Edom's system, which is darkness is itself. They're going to trip in their path, and that trip is going to lead to them falling to their death. Verse 22, it says, a land of darkness as darkness itself, see? And the shadow of death without any order and where the light is as darkness. Why? Because the wicked elites, which is the shadow government of America, runs America. They are putting forth their darkness as light because they have been illuminated on the what? Left hand side. So that light is as darkness that they're putting forth. And two thirds of our people love it. They are conformed to it. All right. That's why they're going to die with the wicked. Now, the book of Ezekiel. Chapter 37. In verse 1, it says, The hand of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. And this is speaking of America. All right. Spiritually, the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, showed Ezekiel, all right, the valley of the shadow of death, all right, which is America, that valley which was full of bones, and those bones represents death, all right? And that represents America, all right, being that valley, and those bones which in America, which is that valley, represents us in a spiritual dehydrated state, okay? Without those living waters, without this truth. Verse 2, and caused me to pass by them round about, and behold, there was very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry, all right? And a valley is what? A low land, all right? And America is a low land that is surrounded by mountain regions, which makes it a valley. And this valley here is full of death, all right? This valley is full of darkness, all right? As darkness itself. And Ezekiel are seeing the Israelites in this valley, okay? And it was many of them. And the scripture says, and lo, they were very Dry, meaning we didn't have these living waters. We didn't know who, who we were. We were still in the mindset of being so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, on down uh, to so-called Mexicans, all right? We was uh, not made aware who our true powers were. We were still worshiping that image of Caesarea, Caesar Bogier as our savior. So verse 3, it says, And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answer, O Lord, power thou knowest. So that's a good answer that Ezekiel gave to the Lord. Because the Most High is the Father of lights. He know everything. And Ezekiel is like what? Lord, thou knowest. Verse 4, again he said unto me, prophesy unto these bones and say unto them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. So once we heard the word of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, which is these living waters, it what? Made us alive. All right? It what? 
are quickening us, as the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, in verse 1, it says, And you have he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins. And that's us being the hopeful elect. All right? The Spirit has quickened us. Quickened means to uh, exist or to be or to be made alive. All right? So we have a chance for salvation now due to that armor being put upon us. Due to us being brought out of that dead state. Out of that spiritual dehydrated state. All right? Now, jumping to the book of Psalms 23, and verse 3, it says, He restoreth my soul, all right, and that's what the Most High through Yahweh Shah have done, all right? He has restored our soul due to the living waters, all right? We have came up out of that spiritual dehydrated state he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake so the path that we're taking is not filled with darkness it's filled with light all right and we can see it says verse four yeah though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death which is america i will fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me and we have been comforted through the scriptures, all right? We have been corrected because a staff, when a shepherd carries a staff, all right, or a rod, that's a rod or a staff of correction, all right? And also, it has comforted us because now we know, okay? Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding shall be the stability of thy times. Roughly paraphrasing Isaiah 33 and 6, all right? Now, we have been comforted, meaning we have been made alive, all right? Uh, the book of St. John, chapter 14, speaks about the comforter. In 26, it says, But the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. So now we have been brought out of that spiritual dehydrated state. And we have been taught who are our powers, who is the Savior, what is need of us, all right, in America being that wicked kingdom, Esau, Edom being the wicked that the Bible speaks of, and what we need to do to come up out of America before it be destroyed by the way of 200 million missiles, all right? He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. So now we know who we were and who we are and what is need of us. Whatsoever I have said unto you, and these are the things that Yahweh Shah said, Unto his followers, when he walked the earth, it's, it's being brought back up, all right? Our pure minds are being stirred up by the way of remembrance, okay? Now, the book of St. John, chapter 6, um, and verse... Verse 49, it says, I'm going to start at 47, St. John 6 and 47, verily, verily, verily means truly. So this is a true saying, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me have life everlasting. So that's why life have returned unto us, true life, not being amongst the living dead, but true life. All right. Why? Because we believed on Yahweh Shai 2000 and some odd years ago. That's how our pure mind has been stirred up by the way of remembrance. Okay? All the things that Yahweh Shah warned us about, now it's that time. And we are remembering what Yahweh Shah told us. Verse 48, I am that bread of life. So Yahweh Shah is that bread of life. 49, your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die. So we are taking part, all right, of the body of Yahweh Shai. That's why we are being made alive right now. 51, I am the living bread which cometh down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. See that? And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. 
The Jews therefore stove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? So they was unlearned. And they didn't catch on to what Yahweh was saying because he was over their head. They thought he was talking about cannibalism. But no, Yahweh was talking about himself being that sacrificial lamb. And if we took part of that, okay, we will never see death. And these are the times where we need, all right, the spirit to deliver us. We need the powers of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh to deliver us, all right, from the second death. 53, then Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily, verily, verily means truly. So this is another true saying, which is everything that Yahweh Shai says is a true saying. I say unto you, except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye have no life in you, two-thirds of our people. That's why they are conformed. Salakia. That's why they are conformed to this world. Okay? And they are not being made alive. They are a part of the shadow of death, right? They are amongst the living dead. They, that's why they have no life in them. Verse 54, whosoever eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood have eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day, all right? So these men are being raised up at the last day, those that took part of the body of Yahweh Shah, okay? That's why... Um, their spirit is being quickened. Verse 55, For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and I in him. All right? As the living Father have sent me, see, the living Father, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. So we are living because we took part in the Lamb's dinner. We believed in Yahweh Shai. That's why it has life has returned unto us here in the valley of death, in the time of ultimate death. Let's jump down to verse 63. It says, It is the spirit that quickeneth, to, it is the spirit that maketh alive, the flesh profit nothing. All right? The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So we have heard these words through the apostles and the elders that, the Most High through Yahweh Shai have set up for us to hear, and we have heard these words by faith, all right? And these words are taking effect, and they are profiting us, all right? It has made us alive. Now we are amongst the, the living in the valley of death, which is America, you know? And that's through what? Yahweh Shai. Uh, 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 22. And it says, for as in Adam all die, all right, because of the sins of Adam, all die, which was in the incarnation, Yahweh Shai, all right, he was, he was Adam, but that was Yahweh Shai, the spirit of Yahweh Shai, even so in Hamashiach, which is that uh, the fulfillment of Adam, all right, the, the perfection of Adam shall all be made alive, see that? So Yahweh Shai had to come and correct uh, the things that he had did in his past lives, such as Adam, such as King Solomon, all right? And he gave himself up, being that sacrificial lamb, being perfect this time around for us to be made alive in these times, all right? And to take part of the lamb's dinner, to take part of life, okay? While two-thirds of our people, all right, are going to die by the sword. Why? Because they believe us not. Okay, so, you know, Lord willing, I pray that this lesson made sense and that this was edifying. We have been made alive in, in a place of darkness, in a place of death, which is America. Shalom.